Wow, Byron plays a mean accordion, doesn't he? His fingers fly almost as fast as Shoji's do on that fiddle. Now that would be a real musical race. Let me tell you a little bit about Shoji Kabuchi. He began playing the violin at the age of seven, and not long after, he met country singer Roy Acuff at a concert in his hometown of Osaka, Japan. From then on, Shoji had just one dream, to come to America and pursue a musical career. There was no stopping him. Then he met Roy Acuff again when he was playing in a club in Riverside, Missouri, and that led to 27 Grand Ole Opry performances in 1975, he ventured out on his own, playing around the country until he was asked to join a theater here in Branson. He loved it here, and he started working to buy his own place. He built his own theater in 1990, quite an accomplishment. I'm sure you saw our tribute to Mr. Welk, which we did in Nashville with Barbara Mandrell. Remember the title, From the Heart, a tribute to Lawrence Welk and the American Dream? Well, just like Mr. Welk, a talented man from North Dakota, Shoji Kabuchi, a talented young man from Japan, he made the American dream a reality. Sissy King and Bobby Burcher seem to be enjoying the fair, and I think you folks will enjoy what they have for you this evening. <laughs> Will beat a bit faster when the circus comes to town. See the faces happy with master when they watch the dancing clown. She'll be turning flippity flops. He'll ride a one wheel bike around. Hey there, <laughs> you there, look at the funny dancing clown. <laughs> Look at the funny! Look at the funny! Look at the funny dancing clown! <laughs> 